What's up beautiful people, I welcome you to this channel, it's called Blazing Spells and today we got another round of Pauper gameplay. It's paper gameplay, the best kind of magic, so brace yourself for some good old games. I won the dice roll, first matchup is Persistent Petitioners against Elves, so um, without any further ado, I play an island, cast the Glistener Seer, put three oil counters on it and then I pass turn. Opponent puts a forest into play, casts Lanova Elves and passes turn as well. So draw a card. No, before drawing a card I decide to scry one. It reveals me a spell status sprite which I'm kind of happy to see so I take it for draw. Then I play a forest for turn and cast Persistent Petitioners. Pretty persistent creature here. Alright, I pass my turn, so my opponent draws, plays a forest and slams two Quirion Rangers down onto his board. Alright, I do untap, draw, play a forest, followed by Winding Way, naming creature here, so I reveal the top four cards and I may put every creature card revealed this way into my hand. It's just measly two ones, so Pawn Prophet and another Persistent Petitioner goes into my hand. For the last mana I do cast a Moth Dust Changeling. I pass turn, opponent untaps, draws, plays another forest for turn. Taps all his mana to cast Timberwatch Elf. That's a pesky creature right here. So he um, casts another Birchlow Rangers by tapping the Elves. And then he taps all his creatures to cast a Mask Wendell without any target here. So it's just for shapeshifter's sake to get one more Elf onto the board. Okay, I do Scry end of turn. It's Persistent Petitioners. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think bottom is right for this card. Draw. Play land for turn. And then tap two mana, cast a Pond Prophet. So I do draw a card. And pass turn here. Opponent uh, puts another forest into play. Taps for free mana and casts another Timberwatch Elf. All right, then he swings with the full team. So before blockers, I cast a spell status sprite to get one more blocker on the board. And now it got super messy because I was uh, pointing and, and shouting like blockers and stuff. Uh, so um, yeah, I got a bit confused here with all the creatures, my bad. But before damage, I tap all my advisors to uh, let my opponent mill 12 cards and yeah because i made a couple of um, bad calls here right um, three of my creatures will die in this ordeal opposed to only two of my opponent creatures so i could have done better i could have done better but yeah tough love all right he passes turn i untap play another Pond Prophet, draw myself a card, and then just to generate as many blockers as possible, cast the Moth Dust Changelings, though again, they're not in my favor. Um, it's just more elves on the board. Okay, opponent taps all his lands and uh, two creatures, two Bestow a Nyxborn Hydra on the mass Wendel. Uh, so he gets three counters and the crucial part is it gets Trample. Creature swings in um, with, with the mask Wendel. So I decide to just block with one creature. And then he does his thing with the Timberwatch Elf and the Quirion Ranger, so he pumps his creatures, returns a forest, untaps the elf, and he pumps the Wendel again with both of the elves. So it's total load of damage, I haven't counted it through, uh, 
petty as I am, I'm scrying here and then I'm making my opponent mill 12 cards and then it's GG's, right? Okay, next game, let's go. I lost, so I may start again. My opponent had to mulligan down to six, puts a card on bottom of his library. And I play an island into Glistener Seer with three oil counters. Opponent draws, plays a forest for turn, followed by Lanova Elves. Sure, he passes turn, I do draw Winding Way, it seems. Then I play another island, followed by Persistent Petitioners. I pass the turn, opponent untaps, draws taps two mana to cast Priest of Titania. End of turn, I do scry one card, it's a winding way, though I have no forest in hand, so I just have to pass on that one. For one blue, I cast Universal Automaton, which again is also an elf for Priest of Titania, so super unlucky here. Opponent plays a Nettle Sentinel, then casts Jaspera Sentinel, taps Priest of Titania for 5 mana in total, casts Winding Way, which reveals him 4 creatures in total. So he's still got 3 mana in his pool, and he uses them to cast another Jaspera Sentinel, Quirion Ranger, and Lanova Elves, right? So he casts those creatures, then he has the possibility to return a forest to hand, to untap a Priest of Titania, play a land for turn, one green mana, and then he can tap for another eight mana, he's, uh, he's got nine mana in his pool, so he bestows a Nyxborn Hydra on the Nettle Sentinel with only six counters so i think he miscalculated here nonetheless end of turn i do scry one i see the mask wendell though i have no possibility to cast it uh yeah i draw another masked wendell and have to pass the turn here screwed on green mana so my opponent uh, pumps a bunch of mana in his pool and then bestows another Nyxborn Hydra on a Jaspera Sentinel. So this looks like GG's. Alrighty, next game, next dice roll. This time the matchup is Persistent Petitioners against Poison Storm. I won here, so I play an island into the little universal dude and pass the turn. Upon draws. Puts in a Sepresin Scary tapped into play with two counters on it and passes. I draw, put in a Forest into play and cast Persistent Petitioners, swing in for one damage. Pass turn. So opponent plays an Island, Lotus Petal, and removes one of the depletion counters from the land. To generate 2 mana, 3 mana, sacrifice the petal for 4th mana and cast Prologue. Uh, so I get a poison counter, he draws a card. And it's followed by Contentious Plan. So he proliferates, draws a card, so I get a second poison counter and he passes the turn. I do untap, draw a card. Tap 2 mana to cast Winding Way naming creatures. So I reveal the top 4 and I put every creature card into my hand. Again it's just 2 creature cards, Persistent Petitioners. So I take those, swing in for 2 damage and pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Again removes one of the depletion counter for 2 mana and casts another Prologue to Pharesis. 
He draws a card, I get a poison counter and he puts a peat bog into play tap with two counters on it. I untap draw and play another persistent petitioners. So three advisors here and then I return a land for Simic Grove Chamber. Swing in for two, opponent goes down to 15, I pass the turn. Opponent draws, removes one of the counters from Pete Bog. that's three mana in his pool, he casts Panted Prism with two counters on it, Sunburst. Uh, he got one mana still in pool, second mana in pool, and it's experimental augury. So he looks at the top three, uh, selects and proliferates all the counters, including my poison counter. Okay, then he taps two mana and removes one of the counters from Panted Prism to cast Infectious Inquiry. So I get a counter, he loses two life and draws two cards here. Passes turn, so I do untap, draw card, play a land and cast my third persistent petitioner. So I have four advisors in play, I let my opponent mill before he gets the opportunity to draw. 12 cards into his graveyard and then I do pass the turn. Opponent untaps, draws, plays another separate and scary with two depletion counters. So he takes three mana in his pool and casts steady progress. So he proliferates, I'm going to six poison counters. He proliferates the counters on his board and then takes into his pool two blue mana from the scary to cast another experimental augury which I'm gonna to react to with a dramatic reversal so I let him mill four more cards before he gets opportunity to draw. Okay, mill cards going into his graveyard. Uh, he proliferates at this point so I'm going up to seven poison counters and he proliferates the rest of his board. He sacrifices the prism to cast another infectious inquiry so I get my eighth poison counter he draws two loses two and passes turn. I play a forest for turn tap the simic growth chambers for two mana and cast winding way naming creature revealing persistent petitioners and a moth dust changeling so i'm able to cast another persistent petitioner for two mana and the moth dust changeling as well so i'm going up to a count of six advisors in total um, i pass the turn and let my opponent mill 12 cards before draw which happens, library of my opponent is looking pretty thin. He draws a card, plays island for turn, then takes two, four, five mana in his pool and casts the inside. So he draws three and proliferates. That's GG and we go into the next game, which is started by the scary with two counters, passes the turn, I do play Universal Automaton first turn and pass it. So opponent draws, plays a Woodlot with two counters and passes the turn. So I do untap, draw a card, play another one of those pesky shapeshifters, uh, return land to hand to, to put in to play a Simic. Growth Chamber. I swing in for one and pass turn to my opponent. So he plays another scary with two counters, passes turn, I do untap, draw, play a forest for turn, take three mana into my pool and cast a Pond Prophet first for the two green ones, draw a card here, 
and then glisten a sear with three oil counters on it. Then I swing in for two. One of my uh, automatons gets snapped, opponent untaps two lands, uh, goes down to 18 life and taps his scary to cast experimental augury. He looks at the top three, selects and proliferates his board state. So this happens, then I do pass turn, opponent untaps, puts a peat bog into play with two counters, takes four mana into his pool, six mana into his pool, uh, it seems like he forgets to remove a counter, but it's Triple H, you never know. Um, he draws three for Lorien Revealed and passes turn. Before I draw, I do scry to select a bit here. Uh, card stays on top. For two mana, three mana into my pool, I cast Persistent Petitioners first and then the Universal Automaton. Pass turn. So opponent draws a card, plays Infectious Inquiry, which poisons me, uh, he loses two life and draws two cards. Next he's gonna tap his island and cast a Pented Prism with two counters and he sacrifices his scary to cast an Experimental Augury. Again, proliferate, select from the top three and cast another steady progress here by tapping his scary and removing one of the counters from Pented uh, Prism. So he proliferates my poison counters, his board state. Then he uses his mana from Pented Prism to cast another Contagious Plan, which proliferates his board state my poison counter and makes him draw a card. End of turn I let him mill 12 cards with persistent petitioners, untap, draw and pass turn. So opponent untaps, draws as well, puts another peat bog into play with two depletion counters and casts infectious inquiry. I play Spell Status Sprite here to counter this. Opponent removes a depletion counter and uh, a counter from Pented Prism to cast Steady Progress. So he proliferates my poison counter up to 5, proliferates his board and draws a card. Taps the Woodlot, removes a counter and casts Overflowing Chalice on one. So end of turn I make him mill 12 cards with the Persistent Petitioners and I remove a uh, Oil Counter from Glistener here to have a peak. So I draw, cast another Persistent Petitioner, make my opponent count his library just to realize that I'm one card short of milling him by tapping four advisors and using Persistent Petitioner's first ability. So before he draws, I make him mill 12 cards uh, with the second ability of Persistent Petitioner's by tapping four advisors. So my opponent draws a card here, plays island for turn and just concedes. GG's. Alright, next matchup it's Boggles against Persistent Petitioners. I do win the die roll here, so I may start, though I have to mulligan down to 6, um, put this card on bottom and start off with an island into Moth Dust Changeling turn 1. I do pass. Opponent draws a card plays a forest and casts Glade Cover Scout. So he passes the turn. I do untap, draw, play another island for turn. Swing in with the Moth Dust Changeling to see if I can lure out a trade. 
which I cannot, so I cast Persistent Petitioners in the second main. Opponent plays another Forest, followed up by Silana Ledgewalker and passes turn. I draw, play another Island and Moth Dust Changeling, pass turn here, so opponent untaps, plays his third Forest and casts Abundant Growth of one of the other ones. Uh, he chooses white, so he taps for green to cast Rancor on Sylvana Ledgewalker, which I answer by casting Spell Status Bright and counter the Rancor, because Trample is really bad. So he plays a Glade Cover Scout and swings in with the Ledgewalker. He forgets that the Spell Status Sprite has flying, so I do block and we trade creatures here. Then I untap draw and pass the turn. Opponent untaps draws and attempts to cast an Armadillo Claw, which is gonna be answered by another spell status sprite from my side. So the spell is countered and I let him mill the top card with the first ability of Persistent Petitioners end of turn. So I draw for turn and cast the Glistener Seer to get my fourth advisor on board. He gets free oil counters and I pass the turn here. Opponent draws, casts Abundant Growth and names white again, reads his card and realizes no need to name a color. Alright, so he draws and taps two mana to cast Malevolent Rumble. So he may reveal the top four cards, put a permanent card into his hand and put the rest into his graveyard, which he does not by sleight of hand, but he puts it onto the bottom of his library. Sneaky sneaky triple H. I make him mill 12 cards end of turn with persistent petitioners, then I draw and pass the turn here. So he draws taps 2 mana and sacrifices the spawn token for the third mana to cast an ancestral mask which is gonna uh, resolve then he casts a glade cover scout which is gonna to resolve as well and then he swings in with the with the scout so i take the damage and make him mill 12 cards end of turn with the petitioners I untap draw and pass the turn here. Opponent untaps and wants to cast another rumble, which is gonna answer by my third spell status sprite here. Um, spells countered, he plays another boggle, swings in with the scout. I'm blocking him and make him mill another 12 cards end of turn. So opponent's library looks pretty thin again. I make him mill the rest of it and it's GG's. Next game, opponent plays forest for turn, followed by a glade cover scout, passes turn. I do draw, play an island for turn, tap and moth dust changeling. So opponent untaps maps. Um, puts another forest into play and casts Glade Cover Scout followed by a Rancor on his other Glade Cover Scout. So he passes turn, I draw, put another island into play, consider for a moment and pass turn here. So opponent places a third forest and Ancestral Mask which I cannot counter it resolves and opponent swings in for 5 total. I take the damage here and pass turn. So I do draw, play my third island, tap it for another moth dust changeling and pass turn here. Opponent draws for turn, taps 2 three of his forests to 
is throw a Nyxborn Hydra onto the Glade Cover Scout, which I'm gonna counter here with the Spell Status Sprite. So uh, Nyxborn Hydra does not resolve. I do untap, play Persistent Petitioners and Glistener Seer with free oil counters past the turn here. So opponent untaps, draws, puts in another forest, casts another Solana Ledgewalker and wants to to swing in but does not so I make him mill 12 cards at end of turn. Do you think my opponent made the right decision here to be a bit shy, uh, fearing to lose his scout or should he have pressured and attacked me? So otherwise tell me down in the comments below, pretty keen on hearing your opinion on this one. So I cast a Pond Prophet and a Glisteners here. Uh, I got two, four, six advisors at this point. I pass turn, opponent draws a card and casts Malevolent Rumble. So again, he reveals the top four cards. Also gains a spawn token and then he may select one of the permanents he revealed, put it into his hand, this time the rest into the graveyard also. And then he casts the Ancestral Mask on uh, the scout, right? At this point, there are 33 cards in his library. So um, I just decide to take the damage because I'm pretty sure I can mill him on the next turn. So end of turn, he mills 12 cards. Um, I do scry one by removing an oil counter, put the persistent petitioners on bottom of the library. Then I draw a card, untap, and cast another persistent petitioner as well as the universal little dude. So I got eight advisors in total which makes him mill 24 cards and it's ggs please like and subscribe i see you next time